Good morning. So we're going to do something neat today. Um, we're going to stick with Harry and Megan for today. And we're going to do something called What If. So what, and I'll, I'll do a lot more of these readings now that I have some followers and you guys can uh, keep track of what I'm doing. So basically what it is, is we'll do alternate timelines. So we'll do a situation and then we'll do an alternate timeline. So what if Harry stayed in the United Kingdom? What if Harry goes back to the United Kingdom? Um, so it, it, they're pretty neat readings. Um, I definitely like doing them. Again, it's for entertainment purposes only. If this is your first time here. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let's get going on this. All right. So still feel like I need to like do testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three on my mic, but, um, mic is doing good. So, all right, we're going to do the what if let's go with just our straight rider weight. <laughs> There's my sloppy shuffle. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So there's been all this buzz about Harry being in a hotel for the last, I don't know, 14, 15 days, something crazy like that. There's been buzz about that. And I want to do a couple of things. So let's start with going back in time a little bit. What if he stayed with Chelsea Davies versus Megan. So let's, it's going to be like a, a life mate choice. So we'll do Chelsea on the top, Megan on the bottom. Wow, she dropped. Oh, look, I did it again. I flipped him upright. That's so crazy. I don't know why I keep doing that. So we'll. We'll throw this out just as a, a jump out card. Here we go with Chelsea. 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 Oh, <laughs> Megan. 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 Megan, Megan. All right, so everybody seeing this? So if Chelsea is the top, well, first of all, Harry, if this is our jump out card, this is Harry being very guarded um, emotionally and guarded personally, just kind of, kind of a wounded baby bird. Let me just knock off my incense here before it falls on the cards. Um, wounded baby bird here and very fragile like super super fragile despite you know his bravado so we'll we'll just stick him over here chelsea would have been a great mother um would have been the nurturer that he wanted um or needed in his life i got tea today not coffee i had the worst cup of coffee this morning i made myself actually the worst cup of coffee i've ever had congratulations i did it um so she would have been the nurturing mother spirit that he needed but there was a lot of trouble getting the they were too young they were they were too young and they couldn't get the cooperation in place they couldn't compromise to the point where they um they could get to that happy marriage it it, it would have been a happy marriage had they been able to do that uh oops, oh i hit my mic sorry about that um they didn't consider things long enough she did not consider things long enough um She did not look at the whole picture, and I, I do believe that there is some regret on her part now. Now that she's older, she knows that she did not hone that craft. So they're, they're you know, she, she knows what she did wrong. Now, 
I think she's engaged, but I don't know if she's married. Um, we'll do a little bit more on that, maybe. Maybe maybe later. I want to do um, the what if spreads today. So, with Megan, she had promised to heal his heart. She had promised to be this font of love. And she was going to be like this. These cards are very similar. The Empress and the Queen of Cups are, are very similar spirits when you get them as a, um, a characterization card. This, this Empress, Empress has a, a much more earthy, um, uh, an earthy quality. It's represented by the uh, Sun sign Taurus. Whereas the, the Queen of Cups um, is a, a more watery, emotional. The, the Empress is much more grounded and much more realistic and um, is, is a much, much more reasonable person, a bit more balanced. Um, I, I shouldn't say that, a bit more earthy than watery, but she, she definitely has some watery characteristics. The... Queen of Cups is all about the emotion. The emotion is paramount. There's not a lot of earthy quality to her. Um, she is, when upright, um, very good emotional counsel. Um, but this was, I'm going to promise to take the hurt away. Justice. This is all of that equity and fairness. And that's where this comes in. And instead of taking the hurt away and building on a crumbled or a crummy foundation, she illuminated the things that were unfair for him. Again, for entertainment purposes only, this, these are what-if spreads. Um, you know, we kind of, th this, this is actually like, what happened so you know we we all know this story so she illuminated the injustices of uh his position and his accident of birth i know i do use that term um often with uh royal readings so uh the the she illuminated that but the message was wrong she had promised the world we can do better we can we can do our own thing and be regular citizens. She really, she, I, I firmly believe she always wanted him to be an American. She always wanted him to come here and be the prince in exile. There's like a certain romance about that anyway. Um, being the, the prince in, in exile, I, you know, notwithstanding the last prince in exile. Um, and I'm sure if you ask any of the Romanovs about that, they uh, don't find it very romantic. But this this was this American dream that she implanted in him. But the message was very strange because the American dream was offered, but then um, the theme was that you know, Eurocentric white males have taken advantage of that system. And, and you know, she was plugging him into that system, which is very strange. Um, but the leadership was very poor. So that is our what if for Chelsea and Megan. What if Harry decided we are not going to leave the United Kingdom and we are going to, well, our, let's clarify the question. So what if Harry put his foot down and said, no, we are going to remain a part? No, that's a bad question. I'm sorry. I, I uh, that crummy cup of coffee is jacking me up, making it hard for me to uh, ask clear questions. So what if they stayed in the royal family? What if they did not find freedom? <laughs> what if they did not find freedom? So we'll do um, if they stayed on the top, if they left on the bottom. Let's see what we get.
I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of cards. If they stayed. Would not have gotten recognition that they wanted. But in the future, things would have been better until they weren't. <laughs> so we'll do more cards on that. Having left, things were good. They thought about it. They tried to find their foundation. They tried to start new beginnings and love, and they're trying to earn money. This is still unresolved. So had they stayed, they would have been very bitter about not getting the recognition they felt was deserved. Had um, They would have been, uh, I'm sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. They would have been promised good things in the future, and they would have had uh, some uh, recompense for it, but... Um, the partnerships eventually would have blown up. So it wouldn't have been enough abundance for heart. We're going to keep doing this. Would not have been enough abundance for her. It always would have felt cheap and like stingy, not cheap, but stingy. She, she felt it, it was stingy. Um, he, he, she would have made the bullets and he would have fired them. And so, you know, which I think we saw in the past anyway. Oh, lemon zinger tea. It's my favorite. feels like spring when I drink that. Um, they're collab They would have fought all collaboration. Oh, and he would have started to, um, I step out. He would have stepped out because he was in his own element. He he had all of his people to protect him. He would have been stepping out. I'm, I'm just saying it. I'm putting it out there. This is a what if reading. So for entertainment purposes only, I'm only reading cards. He would have stepped out there. But he would have done better. And Megan would have left. She would have eventually left. Would they have had... Well, I don't want to ask that. So, having left the sun, they felt really good about it. They thought about their foundations. They thought they had a good start of noble stuff and a beginning to earning their own money. Again, this is the, the story we all know, the story we are living right now. They are living right now. She spoke her truth, considered illuminating um, all of the bad things that the family did, not honing a skill, and devastation. So there we go. That is, should I stay or should I go now? Harry's relationship with his brother. Harry's relationship with his brother, if he had married Megan, and if he had not married Megan. So again, we'll get that baseline on the bottom. Baseline. Had he not married Hagen, <laughs> Hagen, had he not, had Harry not married Megan, his relationship with his brother still would have been troubled. So uh, there, there were hidden resentments, things under the surface that were coming out um, sarcastically, like little, little digs, like little sarcastic digs that, that Harry was saying to his brother, um, not unlike the, well, if William doesn't want to be king, then I will. Um, he does not look back fondly on their childhood. There's a lot of, even though they did get along publicly, like we did see them getting along publicly, there's a lot of jealousy there. Like he is really jealous of his brother, the way his brother is 
social and he's just charming. He's Prince Charming. Um, and that's a lot to compete with. Um, he's not only going to be the king of England, hopefully one day, but um, he's very likable and charming and personable and much more of his mother um, than Harry is. And Harry really wants to be. It's like almost like he's... Uh, if you ever read the book um, Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King, awesome book. It, the uh, the two princes in it, um, the the younger one is just kind of awkward and and clumsy and just not very deft. And everyone loved his brother, who was the heir to the throne. Um, it's a great book. It's a fast read if you if you would like to, if you need a read. Um, Stephen King, Eyes of the Dragon. He wrote it for I believe Peter Straub, the dedication, and his daughter Naomi. Really, it's 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 a really good book. Um, so there, he he still would have felt like unfulfilled, even though the abundance was there. Um, but I think he he would have eventually gotten comfortable with it um, and and not not fought the system quite so much. Let me get this a little bit of ash. See, a little bit of ash there. And I've got this crazy incense burner that is supposed to catch ash, but it doesn't. Oh, a little ASMR. Here. me drinking my lemon tea. I wonder if you could hear me swallow. That'd be kind of fun. So um, having left, the, the theme was we're, we're going to be charitable to the world. We're not going to just limit it to England and the, um, the United Kingdom and the, uh, the Commonwealth. We're going to go forth and and be champions of the truth. Um, th the choice that he made with the Queen of Pentacles, this was not a reality because she wants the coin all to herself. And now they're all wrapped up in a bad situation. Here's a big one. What if Queen Elizabeth did not give permission for Harry to marry Meghan. What if she did not give permission for Harry to marry Meghan? What if, what if? Oh. All those cards that jumped out, like I should have grabbed them, but We'll see if they show up. We'll see if they show up in the reading. All right. Top is what if, bottom is baseline. What if? He still would have been shouting. Oh, he still would have made bad decisions. Oh, involving the queen of pentacles. He, he still would have moved on trying to find that fulfillment. Um, having left. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So... He still, he's, he still would have been yelling and trying to make things happen for the queen who's looking for the coin and trying to move forward, trying to um, make that happen. This is destined. He, he just, this is our yes card. He, even if she said no, he still would have done it. Um, he would have just left the family. That's, that's, that's my reading. He would have dug his heels in and been um, very, very stubborn about it. Having left, I think we all know, justice card, they're not um, being fair to the royal family. Um, she is not uh, a, a dedicated mother, let's put it that way, dedicated mother. Um, again, you know, disclaimer for me, I don't, I still think that she, I definitely think she had uh, Archie. Um, you know, I don't think that there was a fake pregnancy that time. Um, so read between the lines on that. Uh, you know, the relationship is over. The partnership is not noble. 
it's not noble whatsoever. So, all right, I'm going to cut it short. That's a 20 minute reading. Um, I got to get to my day job. I'll see if I can do a reading later on. But um, I like these what if readings. So if you want to see more what if readings, just comment below. You can give me, uh, you know, two scenarios or a, a scenario. What if a different choice was made? What would have happened? And um, I will gladly do some. I like the what if readings and I got a bunch of new decks. So um, we'll do some introductions of new decks too with the what if. And I really want to get back to using my Haunted Mansion tarot because I really like that deck and I haven't used it in a while. So um, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great start to your week.